Hello race of gamers, today's video is about DK Online, a fantasy MMORPG released in 2019, a game that aims to hype for that year with not so much features and original concepts in a market with some established IPs like Black Desert Online, Final Fantasy XIV, or to Warcraft and a few more. Let's see with this first impression of the game if DK Online can deliver and if the game is worth your precious time or not. Stick till the end if you want to know what this game can offer you and where it fails. But before we jump into the game, drop a like shield around the video. This will help me in the fight with the algorithm beast. Also, excuse my voice, I am still a little sick. The game starts by introducing the races and for each one of them you can choose some specific classes. You can pick from Human or Lycan for the Paladin class, Elf and Grey Elf for the Wizard and Deal for an Archer. Besides those, you can be a warrior with all the classes. The customization of your character is pretty limited with just a few presets to pick from. Let's talk about the gameplay mechanics. Ok, after a cliché story about an evil dragon and the heroes that killed it, we started our journey into DK Online. First thing that I noticed is that the style is similar with Riders Legend, but then I jumped and heard the sound effect. Anyway, after I tweaked the graphic settings, I saw that the game looks pretty good and I stopped to check the view. The game starts like any other MMORPG and I get the standard killing quests like always. One thing that I noticed right away about the combat of the game is that it has really good animation and is impactful. You also have different kind of animation on basic hit and some kind of ultimate move. Well, one thing you can do in this game is that you can transform. But after I saw I can turn back into my initial form, I researched on the big library called internet how to do that. And that couldn't solve the problem, so I have to aggro some monsters and let them kill me. I didn't explore this mechanic too much, because what I had was only weak transformations, but maybe if you invest time in them, I leveled them up and got higher tier monsters, it can be fun. Tell me in the comments if you know. This game doesn't have auto pathing and that is a thing I love even when you have to walk a little. A really bad aspect of DK Online is that the potions heals you so little and they are pretty expensive. I was always spending my money on them and I had to refill after every quest. All the money I made during one was spent for me to be able to continue with the next and the cycle repeated. What is more sad is the fact that I acquired the cheapest type of potions, some that healed me even fewer than a monster attack would damage me. And even like this, I couldn't afford them and was left spending everything on some stupid potions. This aspect was so frustrating and the fact that the monsters became even tougher didn't help at all. Also, I found myself with no mana all the time. Why the hell the game doesn't have some meditate or rest mechanic when they knew the potion cost would be so damn exaggerated? The game is so unplayable because of this reason, and I would like somebody to tell me in the comments if there is another way of crafting them, or doing something else. I was spending even the daily tokens I got as a reward on consumables. Such a shame, because the game was engaging enough. DK Online started strong on combat, but after I reached level 23, I had only two active skills to play with. At level 24 I would unlock more, but they costed a lot and I think I wouldn't have the money for them either. I don't know for other classes, but my water gameplay was like this. At least, you can run underwater. Yes, not swim, but run. If you don't believe me, watch this footage. Let's talk about the story and questing of the game. Ok, so from a story perspective, I didn't so much here. Only the intro at the beginning of the game. After that, no cutscene whatsoever. So, the game, I think has a clichéic plot with dragon knights fighting dragons and maintaining peace. Maybe some stories presented at endgame or with the latest releases of patches, if they even exist. About the questing, what can I say? It's your typical style of missions you would expect from any MMORPG. Kill monsters for something or just a random number of them and collect some flowers or other stuff. DK Online gives you a lot of dailies to do, for experience and money, and some tokens 
that can buy you stuff, but like I told you before, I spend them on potions too. Let's check the graphics and atmosphere department. The graphic of the game is looking good, not the most beautiful, but still good enough to look pretty and work on every budget device. The animations are decent, the monster variety is high enough, having me to kill a lot of different kinds of creatures and that kept me entertained. The hills in the game are nice too, but I didn't got to reach another kind of zone with different environment to talk about. What is a shame though, is that I only encountered one player in my playthrough, and he said to me what I told you about potions too. Bad for you DK Online, you could do better than this. Ok, let's talk about what I liked and mostly disliked about DK Online, but before that, if you want to know what games to play and in what is worth investing your precious time, I would ask you guys to join the legacy by clicking the subscribe button. We are almost 50 and I would be glad if you helped me reach that milestone for the channel. This will also motivate me to keep making videos. Also, you can check my channel for more. Also, you can support me in the fight with the Algorand Beast by dropping a like shield around the video. This will let me know you enjoy the content and feel free to comment if you have something to add or you think otherwise about what I said. I would like to know your opinion and don't forget, I try games so you don't have to waste your time. So, what I liked about DK Online is the fantasy setting in which the adventure takes part, the nice and warm graphics and the combat animations. The game feels polished too, but what I disliked most was the super annoying price of the potions, but I think I spoke enough of them in the video. It was really frustrating to go in the city and buy a hundred plus potions every time just to be able to finish another quest, and that was not always the case. Sometimes I wanted to level up just to get the full HP and mana back. This bad it was. Another bad thing is the low player base and I got to see only one other player. I don't know what the main city of the game is, but I am sure that there won't be any huge player army waiting to be discovered. I don't even want to talk much about the game, because if the potion aspect is not solved, the leveling experience is an awful one and you will quit the game really fast. So, in conclusion, DK Online is not worth your time until maybe some fixes, in my opinion. Irene doesn't approve. Ok, so this will wrap today's video. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. May the gods of good drop be with you in your grindy days.